Welcome, true believers, to Bad Wolf Comics. I'm your host, the Bad Wolf, and today we have our Omnigeddon Hall for November of 2023. Welcome back, True Believers, to another Bad Wolf Comics Omnigeddon video. We have well over 10 books today. I think it's more like 25. Uh, so what happened is, I know I said my books were dwindling down for hauls, but Target had their buy two, get one free sale, and I went a little nuts. So back when I had the uh, Great Purge of 2023 and we sold a bunch of books to pay down some debt, uh, there were two uh, sets that I really regretted selling. And those are the Star Wars books, which I bought back immediately, and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle books, which I was actually waiting for the buy two, get one free sale before I bought those again. Uh, now, for some reason, they are starting to go out of print a little bit. Um, I'm told by the community that they should come back into print, but right now, volume 14 is the big out-of-print book for the series, and there's some guy on eBay that was selling it for 300 bucks. I'm not sure what he was thinking. Maybe he got it, but I'm not paying that much for it. I'm just going to wait for it to come back in stock. So, that said, I want to make sure everyone's aware that, like, half of this haul is IDW Collection TMNT books. Uh, so, when you're like, oh, another TMNT book, well, it's because I have the whole set here, and, uh... I just, I just had to pick it up for that buy two, get one free sale. A couple of them weren't available on Target, so I had to go to places like Amazon. I know no one likes Amazon, uh, but to be honest, uh, Target's not much better when it comes to shipping books, and I'll show you that here in a minute. Uh, and then the last couple of books I did actually have to get from Penguin Random House directly. Uh, we got a couple damaged things, I had to send them back, but uh, enough of me talking about it. I'm going to stack books on the side like I usually do, and we're going to get started. All right, so the first one is actually just an actual book. Uh, I, I wanted to add this to the haul just because it, it is book related, but it's not a comic book. But there are comic books of this. So we got Doctor Who Doomsday Extraction Point. Always great to add another actual book to the library. I don't do these very often because they haven't been releasing very many very often. But that's our first book, just a regular old book, Doctor Who Doomsday. Get that out of here. All right, let's get started with the actual comic books here. That's what you're all here to see is the actual comic books. So, uh, yeah, I did open these before, but uh, once again, here is one of the Target books. Not real impressed with these. Uh, the first time they sent me a couple of these, uh, the, the, the corners were crushed. I had to send them back and get a replacement. But when they did send them back, they finally did get it in decent condition. So here's volume, what is this? Volume three of the IDW collection. So... Moving on. So I am going to get all the uh, IDW collection out of the way first. So these first several books are all going to be Turtles books. So we're just going to kind of get through them here. So the next section. Uh, these, this one actually came in fine. Volume 5. Uh, this one I actually had to have replaced uh, because it came in damaged. But they got me an, another copy out. For some reason, there wasn't any shrink wrap on these. Maybe there wasn't to begin with, but... Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the last Ronin director's cut. Uh, at some point, I will do a video on the differences between the standard and the director's cut, just so you guys can get a feel for it and see if it's something you want to buy or something you just want to pass up because you've already got the standard edition. Uh, but there's volume five. And there's our director's cut of the last Ronin. Such a great book if you haven't picked that up, by the way. All right, next. All right, so this is going to be an example, another example of Target's horrendous packaging like man i've seen some bad packaging like amazon and whatnot but these guys okay so check this out you got this box here with like six books in it and all they did was threw this little piece of paper in there with it that's it nothing else no other protection nothing and i'm astonished and amazed to say that this box actually came in unscathed so volume six we have volume nine, volume 10. They actually didn't turn out too bad. Little tiny scuffs aren't something I send things back for, but crushed spines are definitely something we send them back for. Let's put these up. That's six, nine. What was this one? 10. It's gonna be so nice to get those back on the shelf. All right, next we have book seven. Book 13. And book 11. 
Yeah, the only way I was buying these back was not full price. I was definitely waiting for that sale, but as soon as that buy two, get one free sale hit, I went nuts and I bought every one they had. Uh, they don't have the whole set, but they did have a majority of the set, so I just had to get like maybe five or six books elsewhere. But uh, for the most part, Target had the buy two, get one free sale. Uh, I, their shipping is just as bad as Amazon though, so don't let them fool you. Uh, you may have to return for books, uh, some books to, to get a replacement but they were almost as easy as Amazon to replace. I just clicked on the, th on the deal and it, it said replace or, re or refund. So I just said replace. It sent me a label to send the other ones back just like Amazon. So it wasn't too hard to actually get replacements, but uh, be forewarned, their shipping is no better than Amazon's. All right, moving on. Let's, what do we got here? <clears throat> Let's pull this one up. All right, so <clears throat> the other thing to be worried about with, with the Target sale is they don't say soft cover. So when I got this, the originally original order, volume two came as a paperback. And then I noticed when I went through the order that all the other ones actually did say hardcover. I just didn't notice that this didn't say hardcover. I didn't even know these came in a paperback. So I ended up getting a paperback, but it was a buy two, get one free sale. So if I had returned it, I would have gotten zero. So I just kept it. I'm gonna go ahead and gift it to a friend or family member that, you know, I got grandkids, nieces, nephews, you know, all sorts of stuff. Someone in my family will want this. So we're gonna go ahead and gift that out to them. Uh, I did go ahead and buy the hardcover again because I don't want a soft cover. So lesson learned. All right, let's go back here. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got book 15 and book four. Here we are. Ah, love this series more and more. I don't know why I ever sold it. Well, I do know why I sold it, because I needed the money, but <laughs> it was definitely regretted immediately. So, won't be doing that again. Okay, so here's our Penguin Random House, and I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but I wanted to show you. Uh, I, I feel JP's pain on a much smaller scale, because he gets whole pallets that are damaged from those folks, but... I have to say, when I got this damaged book, uh, they were, when I called, when you email them, they want pictures and everything, and they want to, you know, kind of make sure everything's groovy. But when I called, she didn't ask any questions. She wanted to see any books. She just went ahead and refunded it. So that was real nice of them. Uh, let's see here. Is this the damage set? Yes, this is the damage set. So uh, this one, the corner's slightly damaged, and it's ripped in the corner. You're not going to be able to see that on camera. But this one, I don't know if you can see this on camera either because it's wrapped, but... This whole corner is just crushed, man. It's it's just, it was unacceptable. It wouldn't look good on the shelf. And so I just went ahead and asked for a replacement. Uh, so these will also, these are damaged books. So they will also go to a friend or family member. I'm probably just gonna gift them out. Uh, no sense in trying to sell damaged books. Uh, I don't wanna pass on the damage to a, another collector. So I'll probably just hand those over to friends or family. And then, we got the actual books. You're going to see those books twice. Sorry about that, folks. But yeah, Penguin was really good about it. They, they didn't ask any questions. They, they, they're not real good with tracking or you know shipping confirmations, but what are you going to do? Okay, so <clears throat> now here's 12 and 8 in good shape. They sent me in the same box, but this time it didn't get dinged around, so... I don't know, but uh, we got the good ones. Moving on, let's get past these turtle books and get to some, some other really good books, man. I got some good stuff in here. All right, last box for turtle stuff. Oh look, an Amazon box. I know, I know. Uh, Y'all should really start booing for Target too though because they're not any better. Uh, surprisingly enough, I didn't have any issues with Target this time or, or with uh, Amazon this time. Uh, they actually sent me my books in this crappy box with you know I had another one of these in there so it was just like this and I I'm just dumbfounded they need to retrain their people how to how to pack books it's ridiculous but we did get the hardcover of number two so I replaced that paperback and here's the volume one so we got all but volume 14 uh, and I'm just waiting to, I've still got it ordered through Penguin Random House, but when I called them, they said that IDW didn't have a, a, a new date for the reprint. Let's move on to some other Omnis that are not turtle related. So here we go, folks. Let me 
get all this stuff out of the way, move that up. All right. Now let's get into some stuff that's good, some real good stuff. All right, so another Target box. Yeah, I know how y'all feel about it. I feel the same way. Uh, you know, but sometimes Target comes through. Man, I'm, I'm really doing the Freudian slips today. Another Amazon box, but sometimes they actually come through, again, with their craptacular packaging. Um, and I don't normally get smaller books or paperbacks, but these were only available this way. Uh, this is Doctor Who Empire of the Wolf. Um, it is a paperback only, but it has the uh, 11th and 8th Doctor in it together. And for me, that was that was really special. It's something I haven't seen yet, so I really had to get it. Uh, like I say, I don't do paperbacks. One of the few you'll ever see me get. Uh, but there we go, Doctor Who Empire of the Wolf. Now, this one is a very special Doctor Who book. This was actually written by Dan Slott. Um, and it's, it's some uh, different stories uh, for, from the Doctor Who universe. And I'm really excited to read it. I just read a little bit of synopsis, but Dan Slott did it. It's kind of a small book. Uh, it's only got an issue or two in it, but uh, it still looks really good. So we're going to check that out. Make it an overview of that later. Uh, it's a really small book, so it'd be a really small overview. But let's move on. All right. The rest of these are all from my favorite shop, JP and Crew, over at Organic Price Books. Let's get this open here. Now we're gonna get some really good packaging. Now, even Organic Price Books has changed up their packaging as of late. Um, back in the day, you've probably seen several of my other videos where it's just wrapped in bubble wrap and it's like a bubble wrap balloon or bubble wrap uh, cushion for everything. And uh, that's how they send their books. But I imagine that got really expensive. So they have this new packaging they're doing. It's got the cardboard inserts with the paper on top. And at first I was a little leery about it, but I have to say it's, it's really, I haven't had a damaged book yet. Uh, this one was left over from last month. It just didn't get here in time for the for the Halloween season. But uh, Marvel Zombies Returns. I was really excited about that book. I really was trying to squeeze it into our October haul. It was just, it got pushed back at the last minute and I just, I had to wait. So, uh, Marvel Zombies. There we go. So, just so you can see a little better. Here's the actual packaging now. They just dropped the book in here. It's got the cardboard so they can't get crushed. And the paper on top. Now, I imagine this is a much cheaper option for organic price books. But thank you, JP and crew, for finding a better option for yourself that also didn't compromise the integrity of our books. So I really appreciate you guys out there. Nothing like getting a book you always wanted and you're really excited to get and having it show up damaged and then you have to deal with everything else that comes with it. And it, it can really put a damper on your day about your books. So actually, let's put these over here. Get that on the shelf. All right, next, moving on. What do we got here? All right, so this one is another Star Wars book. We have Star Wars The High Republic. I'm not sure how I feel about that series yet because, well, it's, it's a fairly new series and I haven't really gotten into it, but it's a Star Wars book, so I did have to grab it. Moving on. Hope that series is good. Ooh. This, I forgot, I guess they're not all from Organic Price Books, so this is a very special order. I ordered this directly from Boom Studios. Uh, JP did a video on one of these books, and uh, it was immediately, the slipcase version was out of print, so I had to go straight to Boom Studios. The other book, I haven't been able to find anywhere except Boom Studios, and that book is the Keanu Reeves Berserker. They finally put some of these in hardcover. It's the first four issues. Uh, but it is finally in hardcover. You can get this directly from Boom Studios. I think I paid like 50 bucks for it because, you know, they charge 50 bucks for everything over there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Berserker is a, is a series that I've been dying to check out because Keanu Reeves is one of my all-time favorite actors, and uh, he had a big hand in doing this. They're even looking at possibly a movie or TV show, I think, where he'll be the, uh, the lead, obviously, and even kind of looks like him, so... Uh, I'm really excited to read this. You will get a, a review of this shortly. Uh, this is moving to the top of my read list because I'm really excited to check it out and see what it's all about. Berserker. Check it out. Boom Studios. <clears throat> now this book, like I said, was overviewed. I think David did the overview over on OPB, but uh, we only find them when they're dead. The slipcase version. And as soon as the video was up, it was already sold out for the slipcase. So for this book, I did go directly to Boom Studios. Uh, I think they charged quite a bit, you know, a bit more than they would have gotten it for at Organic Price Books. This book, I think, was $75 over there. Uh, but I, did, I was able to get my hands on the slipcase edition. 
Pretty sure that's the only place you can get the slipcase now. They might come to restock, I don't know, but uh, I was only able to find it there. As a matter of fact, now that I think about it, I think <laughs> as soon as this showed up, I think JP did get a restock of this. So you might check this, the site because if Organic Price Books has it, it will be cheaper than Boom Studios. But uh, it looked like a really good read. Check out uh, David and JP's video about uh, we only find them when they're dead. Uh, it looked really good, so had to pick it up. All right. Now, I swear, the rest of these are from OPB. All right, we're almost done here. We got three more boxes after this. This all actually went a little faster than I thought. Doing these hauls is always like Christmas every month. <laughs> it's always a big pile of cardboard I gotta clean up after these videos. All right, let's see. I need an assistant. One that works for gratitude. <laughs> All right, let's, just kidding, let's, let's get in here. All right, so <clears throat> another TMNT book, but this is the last Ronin, The Lost Years. Uh, since I decided to uh, keep doing my TMNT books, we did go ahead and pre-order this. Excited to read it, because I really did like The Last Ronin. I'm excited to see what this has to offer, so see what direction they went with it. All right, folks, a couple more here. I'm just gonna stack these last ones here. All right, what have we got here? Ah, uh, this is a book that everyone was excited for, including myself. Batman, the Hush Saga Omnibus. Man, I, I, I really enjoyed the Hush Saga, which, you know, we've gone from this, the 20th anniversary, <laughs> to this monstrosity. So obviously there is a lot more content in this book than there is in this one. Uh, at some point I may do a video uh, on the differences, but I am going to gift this to my brother because he's a huge Batman fan and uh, he doesn't really collect books. But when I told him I had an extra 20th anniversary, he was really excited. So uh, my brother Elton, you'll probably get this book. And that is the Hush Omnibus. Oh, this is going to be good, man. I'm, I'm excited. i got so many books to read. I'm always behind. Let's see here. Ah. We have another Star Wars book. Star Wars The Empire. Is that Volume 2? Yeah. The Empire Volume 2. Another book to add to the Star Wars collection. All right, folks. Last one. Let's see what we got here. Ah. So yet again, another Super Sons Omnibus. The Super Duper Edition. Uh, I don't have the original release, but I do have the... Here it is. The, the second release. The Expanded Edition. You can see this is a bit thicker. They added some more books, so I might do a video on the differences between these two, but I do not have the first book for that. I just didn't get on the, on the bandwagon until this book, and when this book came out, I bought it, and now this one comes out, so who knows? Maybe they'll release a super uber duper duper edition. I really hope not. I'm tired of buying this book already. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get our final shot. And there you have it, folks, our Omnigeddon haul for November of 2023. Uh, so we got 26 books in all, not including the damaged books down below. However, I did count out there were 10 books that were not Turtles books, so it did technically count as an Omnigeddon. I, I pretty much wanted to count the Turtles books as, as one book because it's just, it's just too much. And as always, I get 90% of my books from Organic Price Books. For those of you that shop at Organic Price Books, don't forget to use the code BADWOLF during checkout for $2 off your order. But stick around, true believers, Bad Wolf Comics has more in store for the holiday season. We still have a custom dust jacket video for Wolverines Volumes 1 through 4. Uh, I will be doing an end-of-year room tour, but that video will release on the 31st of the December, so I may actually try and throw in a third video. It may even be an overview of Berserk, depending on when I get it read. But uh, for now, this is Thanksgiving Day that I'm recording this, so I do need to go out and cook Thanksgiving dinner. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday, and we'll see you next month. With that said, I am the Bad Wolf. This is Bad Wolf Comics. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.